Hi, and welcome to this very first tutorial about Reach. Reach is a dockable tool that will allow you to optimize your workflow and take advantage of helpful features. Let's see it in detail. Access to 156 native comments. You can also apply or remove your effects. You can run your scripts here. You can apply your presets. You can find 53 utilities within the tool, like uh, auto crop and pre comp layer, for example, here. That's it. You can use pre made expressions that we made for you, and you will find here an expression editor with the expression language reference as helper. You just need to double click, we will see that letter to create your own expressions. You can, of course, have the possibility to save this expression. You will find a discrete anchor point mover here an align to the first selected object that's missing in After Effects. Let me show you. So I will select this layer first, then this one, this one and this one, and I want to have them on the left here. And here it is. And you will find two sliders to ease your keyframes. So now let's have a look at the backbone of Rich, I mean its search bar. I will first choose a very generic word like text. As you can see, I have many results, many presets, so I have to be more precise to get quick results, especially uh, if you collect presets like me. So let's say that I'm interested by this animation. All right, this is rich. Now I will add it in my bookmarks to avoid a new search about this preset. So I just click on the star here, it's bookmarked. And now when I click in my bookmark, I will see it here, okay? But it works also for any comment, for example, Purge all memory and disk cache. I will do it right now, just as a text. Okay. And I will add it to my bookmarks. From now on, I will have a list of any effects, presets, plugins, scripts, expression, everything I need in my bookmark. Let's apply an effect. This text is black, as you can see. I will choose a tint effect, really classic. And now I will select, yeah, a red color. But I don't like it. So I just double click on my layer and the effect has disappeared. One of the things, here I have my scripts. So I will select one of my tool, clone it. Here it is because it's a dockable tool, okay? If I double click, boom, it disappears. And that's the same thing for everything which is dockable. Um, here, I told you that we have utilities. For example, this is a text. And if you want to crop it, you know that you have to pre-comp it first to double click on it. All right, here to use this kind of selection and then to crop crump region of interest. And then you have your pre-comp here. All right, let's control Z and let's get back to our text layer. So this is our text layer and in the utilities I have an auto crop and pre-comp layer. I will use it 
immediately, boom, 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 and it's down. Okay, so um, it's close to other tools that you may know about cropping, but you can use it on any kind of layer. Here, for example, you will add guides all around the layer, okay? And you can have, you know, the snap effect here. Speaking of which, uh, let's go further in that utilities. For example, one of the uh, utility I like uh, very much is uh, the audio sync. I mean, I will show you immediately. Um, here, this is a star, as you can see, all right? I will launch um, my tool here, uh, which is Bit Sound Music Reaction, and I have here this feature. So I will select a property like Scale, and I will sync and create controllers. So in one click here, as you can see, you have here the minimum audio, maximum audio, and the influence. So we can increase the influence and we can play with the minimum audio or maximum audio to fine tune the animation. So this is violence. If you already know uh, the BPM, for example, here is the one for one, you have a tool which is beats per minute and measures metronome so I will here type my BPM and I want to have every three times here a mark. So here I have my BPM and every time I need a mark, I have a sign which says, hey, we have a new measure. One of the utility is the possibility to have something uh, like, you know, um, let's forget this color. I mean, the gradients, yeah. So here we have a layer and I will control D to have other copies. And uh, these copies don't need to have the same size, but you know what, you want to manage them with a null. So you can create a null and then pick whip everything to a null. But sometimes you want to have a master null centered, like for example here, boom. And then you can move everything in one single click. Okay, so sometimes your composition uh, is a bit messy. So you want to select only the text layers like this or um, to un unselect, toggle uh, the text layer and select only the shape layers. Now you understand that you can select any kind of layers, the, the nulls, for example, here. If you want to see which layers have expression, you will select everything and click double E. But what's interesting, it's that you can select layers containing expressions. You set markers on layers with expression. Boom, one, two, three, four layers. I like this functionality. So I will add it to my bookmark. And now I have it, set markers on layers with expressions. Cool. Okay, so now let's talk about the expressions that are available in the tool. So for example, here you have the blink wing expression. You just need to select your layer to double click. And then, as you can see, it will automatically add the expression where it has to be. So, for your information, and I guess that you already know, it's just an expression that you put in the opacity, okay? Um, another thing, um, we have, for example, expression which needs keys. 
So, uh, for example, elastic woo, which needs a position, for example, here, and then one second later, you can put another position here. You double click on elastic woo, and it's done. Do. So you will find some comments like the speed of scale, the frequency, the length of time of uh, appearance. Woo. So for example, let's say the frequency here and the time of appearance two. As you can see, it repeats itself, it loops, and that's hypnotic. So you can change uh, this expression because you may use uh, the JavaScript engine in your preference here of the project expressions and you can have by default JavaScript or legacy. We added expression uh, with legacy format because it's not yet uh, very popular uh, to have the JavaScript uh, by default, but you can edit these expression and now how you can do it. You just click on this button here and you have immediately the expression and you can decide to customize this expression. Here I have my shape layer, it's a sphere, okay? And uh, I will uh, create my expression, uh, a, a really simple expression, like sphere wiggle. Because it's a sphere and we will use, you know, wiggle with a frequency and an amplitude, all right? Um, here, I have an expression um, language reference, uh, full Adobe documentation available. And if you are looking for um, any uh, elements uh, to code, you will, ha you will have, for example, um, the velocity, the value of time, uh, the time remap, uh, everything available. You just need to double click. For example, uh, here this property uh, will be value, for example, to world. As you can see, you just need here to customize uh, what you want to do. Okay? Um, if you select, if you have selected, um, here the position uh, on the layer, you will also have other property for scripting. I mean scripting scripts dot gsx file. I will close it and let's go back to our expression sphere wiggle. Really, really clear expression. I will test my expression, but I need to select a property. Why? Because if I don't select a property, this expression will be available for any property. So you will need to choose the property manually to apply the expression. But with the wiggle expression, for example, I can wiggle the position and it will be fine. I will save this expression. So it's a bit, yeah, it, it takes some time, but here you have your expression saved because it's already available now in the um, uh, thousands uh, entries that you can have in Rich. So it was sphere, is sphere wiggle is available here in your expressions. So now I select my layer, I double click, and here on position, as you can see, I have my sphere wiggle. You can immediately edit, save, delete, test any expression and uh, you can store, above all you can store every 
expressions you need and for vertical no for sphere wiggle i will add it to my bookmark so it's a go-to for me now i have my sphere wiggles and of course i can change here what i pre-made but the thing is that it's really really handy and it's a time saver to have all your expression here stored in reach so um, about the settings you didn't see um, the plugins because I didn't check show search in your plugins just to show you that it's a possibility okay and I want the anchor point mover and the align and easing on the top and not at the bottom okay and I don't want to show his sliders and I save so I need to restart so now uh, I've launched reached and as you can see it's not really the same tool I have all my list here I don't need this extra space and I have the anchor point mover here my align object I don't have the uh, is slider part and I have here all my tools under this block okay so you can customize this part here here in the settings part we will see how to ease sliders maybe in an other video because this very first video was just to show the potential of the tool because it's a large tool you will find everything you have in your after effect really easily because the search bar is really responsive and you just need to click to add or to remove an effect you just need to double click to add or to move a tool for example here this tool it disappeared this was the first part of the presentation of rich in a future video i will go further on its use on the tips and tricks of the tool and the use of the alignment and keyframes easing tools. Stay tuned.